Okay, here we're in the uh, liquid phase storage module uh, of industrial gases desktop. And this would apply to cryogenic liquids, and in the case of uh, ammonia, propane, um, they, they wouldn't be cryogenic, but they're stored under pressure and they would be uh, uh, liquid, so they're included. The, uh, the first uh, tab that we see here lists uh, the typical tank sizes for cryogenic storage, starting at 45 uh, gallons and uh, going all the way up to 18,000 gallons and the uh, typical t uh, tank uh, the diameter, height, uh, empty tank weight, and the d uh, design pressures. And of course, pressures can be anywhere from as low as 50 pounds for these tanks all the way up to uh, uh, 250, 260 pounds would be sort of the, the common range. I've just listed a, uh, an, an average or a typical value here. And then uh, the evaporation rate, if no, uh, the, the boil rate or the, the heat leak, uh, which uh, causes the liquid to vaporize in the gas, and eventually if the gas isn't used, obviously, then that's loss or boil-off loss or vent loss. The uh, uh, units uh, are available in both U.S. customary, and I can hit this button right here to convert uh, everything to, to metric uh, to see the same data. Next, let's go to the uh, capacity calculator. Uh, here, um, I can select the tank size, and I can adjust the tank level uh, from 0 to 100 percent, and uh, it's a quick reference tool to tell me how much uh, gas I have on hand. So I'll choose a 6,000 gallon tank, and then I'll run the slider bar up to 30 percent, and I can see the volume I have on hand. I would have about 207,000 cubic feet of oxygen. Uh, or 133,000 cubic feet of CO2, or 204,000 cubic feet of hydrogen, for example. Um, I can do the same for um, a very small tank, obviously, 45 gallons. I can come up to 90%, and I can see, the uh, again, the standard cubic feet of nitrogen, argon, uh, that, or helium that might be in that, in that vessel. The third tab uh, under uh, the liquid phase storage and, and tank uh, ca uh, module is quite useful for sizing a uh, cryogenic tank and uh, it's a very handy tool to tell you whether or not you're going to have vent losses based on your uh, average use rate. So uh, let's start here. I'll just pick a 3,000 gallon tank and I'll enter my average hourly flow rate in box number two and I'll choose 1,000 standard cubic feet per hour. I could also choose normal meters uh, per hour. And then uh, based on the, the first tab, I'll say that the uh, evaporation rate for this tank is expected to be in the neighborhood of, uh, of uh, 0.3. Uh, so I'll come back over here and I'll set it at uh, 0.3 percent, 0.25 percent per day. And uh, the product that I'm storing is nitrogen. So in uh, box four, I select the gas and then I run the analysis. Um, and I'm good. So I see nitrogen. Uh, my daily use is 24,000 cubic feet. My daily evaporation is only going to be 698 standard cubic feet, so I'm way above uh, the evaporation rate. As a matter of fact, I could I could probably use a smaller tank and be fine. The uh, evaporation as a percent of use is only 3%, and it tells me I have no daily event losses, no monthly or annual event losses. So that's good. Uh, let's do an example where um, I use an 18,000 gallon tank and uh, a low flow rate, only 250 standard cubic feet per hour, and uh, same evaporation rate, 0.25. Uh, I'll switch gases to uh, hydrogen, and I'll run the analysis again, and I'm still okay. I'm, I'm uh, daily evaporating 5,000 feet, but I'm using 6,000 feet, so it's close. 85% um, of, of, uh, of my use is actually uh, heat loss evaporation. So I'm, I'm getting kind of close to the edge uh, for this particular application. If I drop this to 100 standard cubic feet per hour for that same 18,000 gallon tank and I ran the analysis, now I can see I'm in trouble. I'm losing gas on a daily basis. Uh, my daily use is 2,400 standard cubic feet, but I'm ev uh, evaporating due to heat loss over 5,000 standard cubic feet. Um, so I do have daily vent losses, 213% uh, of my uh, uh, my use, uh, or my vent loss is 213 percent of my actual use, so I'm losing 2,700 feet a day, 81,000 cubic feet per month, or I'm venting, if nothing happens, almost a million cubic feet per year of, uh, of hydrogen. So hopefully these examples give you a good feel for the value of, uh, of this uh, tool. Some of these tanks can be not so good. They can have two, two and a half.